as the alchemist dissolves the base matter, purging it of its impurities, so too does the invisible hand erase the vestiges of old civilizations, consigning them to the abyss of oblivion. Yet from the ashes of the old, a new order emerges, coagulated and reformed by the divine alchemist, who breathes life into the embers and fashions a new civilization from the remnants of its predecessor. This divine alchemy is evident in the annals of human history, where the rise and fall of empires bear witness to the transformative power of the unseen presence. Ancient civilizations such as those of Babylon, Egypt, Rome, once mighty and indomitable, were swept away by the tides of time, their glorious edifices crumbling to dust, their wisdom and knowledge vanishing into the shadows of the past. Yet from the ruins of these fallen empires emerged new civilizations, bearing the seeds of their forebears, enriched by their legacies and strengthened by their lessons. Our world is the backdrop to an immortal dance where the dead think they are alive and the living just want to escape the land of the dead. It is a realm where the wise discern the patterns that underlie the tapestry of history and where fools ensnare themselves in threads of endless arguments. They cannot see the evidence of the existence of a secret order a brotherhood of learned men who throughout the ages have concealed the knowledge and ancient texts of forgotten civilizations in secret repositories hidden only in the underworld. This noble fraternity acting as custodians of the past and benefactors of the present release these precious tomes and treatises into the public domain to preserve the knowledge and enlighten the minds of those who seek the truth. The Hidden Order, a clandestine society of erudite scholars clinging to some ancient ideal, has for centuries operated in the shadows, safeguarding the priceless treasures of antiquity. These guardians of knowledge, recognizing the fragility of human memory and the impermanence of civilizations, have endeavored to preserve the works of great thinkers, poets, and sages, concerning them, concealing them in secret repositories, hidden from the prying eyes of the uninitiated and the ravages of time. The secret repositories ensconced in the depths of the underworld, serve as sanctuaries for the accumulated wisdom of the past. Within their hollowed halls, the texts of forgotten empires repose, their contents spanning the breadth of human knowledge, from the sciences and arts to the esoteric and occult. These subterranean vaults, impenetrable and impervious to the ravages of time, stand as testaments to the dedication and foresight of the hidden order who seek to preserve the light of human intellect against the encroaching darkness of ignorance, of forgetfulness, and of the establishment, the elite who seek to take our histories away. They recognize that the knowledge of the past is not to be hoarded but rather shared and disseminated among those who thirst for truth and enlightenment. Thus, they periodically release the ancient texts and treatises into the public domain, offering newer translations of older works, ensuring that the wisdom of the ancients is not lost to the mists of time, but rather preserved and propagated for the benefit of future generations. The Hidden Order in their role as benefactors of humanity, have bequeathed to the world the fruits of their labor, guiding the course of human intellectual development and shaping the progress of civilization. Through their efforts, the works of great philosophers, poets, and sages have been preserved, their teachings and insights disseminated to those who would otherwise be bereft of such wisdom. 
the secret order. Though concealed from the gaze of the masses, have in truth been the architects of human intellectual and spiritual advancement, their unseen hand guiding the destinies of the seekers of truth. The existence of this hidden order, though known only to a select few, may be discerned through the careful study of history and the esoteric traditions, the unexplained resurgences of ancient knowledge, the sudden renaissance of forgotten wisdom, and the unheralded appearance of new translations of ancient texts all bear witness to the handiwork of the secret order who labored tirelessly to preserve and perpetuate the intellectual heritage of humanity. When men stumble on the evidence of their activity, they find in them a conspiracy. They proclaim history is fake, that the lacunas and the interpolations are proof that whole civilizations did not actually exist. These men of today detect the work of this hidden order, but misinterpret what this work has actually achieved. Men of today, ignorant of the design, cry that Greece and Rome are forgeries and never happened because the evidence that these archives have been handled, copied, preserved, and reappear in the world as huge compendiums and massive volumes when in truth, the older versions were independent texts by different authors at different times. But reset after reset, the books are preserved. And often in newer languages, these critics who've read very little and understand even less claim of missing centuries and ignore to their folly the unbroken records of the Chinese, the long historical annals of the Irish, the Anglo-Saxon chronicles, the Frankish annals, and the Nuremberg chronicles. In Gibbon, we find the evidence of a man who preserved the many histories of Europe in gigantic volumes of books that are but the preserved texts of his predecessors. These have endured despite the vicissitudes of time and the persecution of the ignorant. They owe their survival in no less part to this hidden order. Through their guardianship of the secret repositories, the custodians of the ancient wisdom have ensured that the esoteric teachings and practices of the past remain accessible to the seekers of the present, and that the flame of human intellect is never extinguished. <laughs>